Well, it's been two hours and 20 minutes. 4.46 a.m. And if you saw my last video, I am in Crocodile Lake National Wildlife Refuge in the month of August. And I am hunting moths. And I'm putting my shoes on right now. Because I just took a nap in my truck for about two hours. So that I, I get some kind of sleep. I got my engine on. Better than paying for a hotel room down here. Prices are a little cray cray. Guys, we are going to go see what moths are coming to the sheet. Um, we caught some cool stuff. We found some cool moths lately, uh, earlier. Uh, but now it's time to see what's coming uh, later in the evening. Guys, let's get to the video and see if there's anything new. All right, uh, guys, there is a little more moths activity, but unfortunately there's not a whole lot new that has shown up at the sheet from when I went to bed in my truck. But there's one there that's new. A nice Phrixus Kaikus. Beautiful Sphinx moth. Um, let's see if I can get him to open it up. Nice. Ready to go. Let me see if I can get show you a little bit of Phrixus Kaikus. Oh, you got a beautiful moth. Looks a lot like an Ello Sphinx, but it's got this beautiful streaked forewing. Very, very rare moth. I've only seen it in the Florida Keys. That's a stunner right there. Cool. There's a nice Strigillus. Beautiful Strigillus. <laughs> Don't wait. An old Leska. Oh, so this is a moth that I don't recognize off the top of my head. There's a bunch of them here tonight. Um, I, I'm going to try and get an ID for you on that. But I don't recognize it. Oh. We've got several of these red and baccarai, which are pretty cool. We have... Tyrissa multilinean, multilinea. Pyactes? It's Pyactes. Freaking Pyactes. There's a Grodii. Diva Moth. female Luska. There's a mantis fly. Check this guy out. Praying mantis fly. It's a fly, not a mantis, but it has the same four wings that do the same thing as a praying mantis. Pretty cool. 
I've got Heterocampa Ziasi. I've got that guy. Tired Luska. Yeah. Not a whole lot more. Got a few things more, but not, not a whole lot. I thought a two hour nap would bring me more bugs than this, guys, to be honest. But there's some cool stuff. And we still got the other sheet to go check out. So, we'll probably go do that right now. Well, that's a good one there. He's a tiny but mighty moth right there. Tough bug to find. So we walked around the corner and coming up to our other sheet. Yeah, let's see what we got. Somebody on the ground here? Leaf, leaf, nobody on the ground, huh? Oh, Ricky, no Ello Sphinx. Really? What is going on? Look, Wait, there's Ello's. one, there's the Ello. <laughs> Let me get my flash on here. All right, there is an Ello, a very, very fresh Ello Sphinx. Oh, wait, 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 look at that. There's a mantis fly eating a moth. That's cool. I've actually never seen a mantis fly eating a moth at my light sheet before. So that's cool, guys. Going to town. See some bugs? Nothing else? We got this Ello, beautiful male Ello. We got. Melipotus species. Mm. Guys, be honest, I'm shocked. There's not more moths. The Grodii. We've got flannel moth. Yeah, not a whole lot else. Not a whole lot else, folks. Very, very interesting. Why isn't there that many moths? All right, here's a uh, Udalanta. It's uh, a notodonid that feeds on poison wood. Local to southernmost Florida and the Florida Keys where poison wood occurs. Boy, that is one camouflaged critter. 
Look at that thing, man. Yep. Oh, you see one? Hello? What? What did he get himself into? He's kind of stuck in there. He's stuck in there. Poor guy. There we go. Oh, he's seen better days. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Nothing exciting. Not, not too much exciting, guys. Why the dragonflies like right, like the heat, right next to the bulb. Well, that's what happens to slow moths, I guess. Yeah, fire ants are a problem, guys. And, you know, no matter where you are in South Florida, you're gonna have fire ants become an issue at some point. And when they find your light sheet, they come hunting too. So uh, in fact, we have trails of them all over our uh, bed sheet here. Now the bigger moths, when the fire ants come, the bigger moths can escape. All right, Ricky sees a mystery moth inside the sheet. So we're going to... <laughs> it looks pretty large, so... It looks least... pretty large. Another aloe. Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Ay, yeah, yeah. A male. No. Saved by the yellow. Funny, we didn't see any elves before, now we saw three. Yeah, zero elves uh, until 2.30, and then we went to, took a nap, 4.30, then we got three on the sheet. That's how it goes. Same thing with the Io moths, right? They showed up at like two o'clock. Yep. We got the male Io's, Io moths show up at two o'clock. Cool. Yeah. Warm the jets. <laughs> By brakes. Yep, so we showed you Kaikis earlier that has those same black bands on the abdomen. The, the, the Kaikis, the four wing streak, is like a, a, a line. It's a lot, a lot smoother looking. Mm -hmm. The Ello Sphinx streak on the four wing is broken in a more mottled pattern. And it's lighter too. Yeah. <laughs> Cool moth. Cool, cool. Ugh. <sighs>